Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Joy Energy Tarot. This is an intuitive reading for the Earth signs, um, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus, for the week beginning the 10th of May right through to the 16th. So if you've got a 10 in your chart, that means that it's a 1 and you do things independently and individually. You will do things quite uniquely and you don't mind doing things by yourself. Um, and for those of you who have got the 16 in your chart, 6 and 1 is 7, you are always here to be learning and you love having time out and you often like foreign cultures too. So let's get on with this reading. It's an intuitive one. I also do Cat Wisdom Cards live on Facebook on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and private readings under joyenergytarot at gmail.com. Now watch out for scammers because they keep hitting all the tarot card readers at the moment and they'll ask you, promise you the world and take your money. Okay, so let's get on with this reading. So we want the re a true and accurate reading, please. For the week of May the 10th, for the lovely earth signs, please. Thank you, spirits, angels, guides, and our lovely ancestors for coming in and guiding us. What have we got for Monday, approximately? Oh, the beginning of new new project, new job, new work, new project, something you've been waiting to start and you've been looking forward to it. You're quite passionate about it, something that you really believe in and love. You've got that beginning there. Okay, at the beginning of the week, let's go on and see what we've got for a clarifier. Thank you. Oh, yes, it's a new beginning, all right. You're making that leap forward into the unknown. This is the card of uh, jump in, go for it. It's a learning, life learning lesson for you. You're going to really love it and just do it, okay? Now, I'm also here, have three piles. These are going to be clarifying cards for Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. Those are messages for you at the end of this reading. All right, let's see what we've got for Tuesday, please approximately Tuesday, I'm going to do that again, didn't do it very well, Tuesday, what's happening Tuesday please, okay, so some of you are waiting for some sort of news to come in, or you're going to see a lawyer, this is about seeking the truth, or this is a knowledgeable person, it can be you or someone around you, someone who has got a lot of knowledge, they can see clearly, they um they're the, the lawyer who can see the fine print and give you the advice you need. They can be a teacher, someone who's very, very wise. So you are either at that stage now where you can think straight, you've let go of old habits, you can think clearly and decide clearly about what you really want, or there's somebody around you that can advise you. Because this person's wise, they have learnt through everything. They're just really, really wise. Okay, a clarifier please. Clarifier is... This person can be to do with family, so you might be sorting out some sort of court family issues. And for others of you, this is about wanting to have that feeling of the happy family again. You might be looking back and reminiscing about when you were a child. and um, But this is progressing in relationships too. It's a six and it's about relationships and wanting to have a happy relationship. Okay, so let's go through to Wednesday. What have we got happening on Wednesday, please? Yeah, there's the legal papers, okay? So this is for some of you who have been doing, having some sort of legal um, battle and now you've got the legal papers coming through and uh, it's about getting that balance and the peace of mind back into your life and choosing to um, see things um, in a better, a better light, being nice about the choices and decisions that you've got because actually right next to it is the lover's card. So this is a card of about um, working with someone else to create something new, but it can be also about you um, working out what you believe in and what you really want as well. And it's a joyful, happy card. So I feel the outcome for some of you who are going through something legal is actually going to be very good. For the rest of you, it's getting the calmness and peace back into your life, getting that balance back in your life. And there you are again choosing what you really want and it's going to be happiness. So let's go on from there. Major Arcana in the middle of the week. That's cool. Something important is happening. The week starts off with a hiss and a roar too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's your changes. Go with the wheel. Changes are happening. They're sort of out of your control really. 
that you've got you've got the ability to manifest stuff and make the changes okay so believe in that that the changes have started happening and right next to it is happiness joy um positivity feeling really good about things again so that's really great so that's um thursday and friday what have we got for friday please so friday yeah there we are with the the ability to manifest what you want the magician you've got the ability you're just as in touch with heaven as you are with earth so it's like you've got this ability to make your dreams come true to sort out things and have them the way you want this is all about communicating look see how lovely and bright and yellow um, she is and that's the energy of joy and happiness and we've got the little black cat we've got the independence there you've got the wisdom there and they're just saying you have got that ability so to get what you want so you can manifest your dreams or if you just say in the practical world thinking about your job or what you really want you can you've got the ability to talk people into the things that you believe in and how you want things to be done you can do that Okay, a clarifier please for that. Yeah, look, beginning of joy and happiness and for some people it's a baby, a new baby coming into their life or a new relationship and for others it's, if this is what you're really wanting, you can make it happen. So focusing on it and telling your guides and angels that this is what you want and going for it, making steps towards achieving these things. So instead of sitting around waiting for things to happen, actually just go with it, okay? I think for some of you, you've had to move on from old patterns where you've shut yourself down and locked yourself away and um, thinking outcomes will be the same as what they were in the past, but they won't be. So let go of any old outdated beliefs, okay? Right, the weekend, please. What have we got for the weekend? Yeah, there you go. That's confirming it. There's those old beliefs. You're walking away from things. You're leaving behind those old emotions now. In the past, they've probably held you back because you thought, oh, you know, you might have had a, a shitty relationship or been ripped off or something like that, and you're scared that's going to happen again. Well, it's about learning to trust in the universe because you're now going to leave those things behind and the patterns behind so that you can move forward because you've got the ability here like what a wonderful week you've got the ability here to manifest love into your life or to manifest happiness of some sort into your life and it's going to bring you the changes it's going to bring you change joy and happiness you've got it's actually a really major week for, for a lot of you all right so uh let's have one more for the weekend please one more for the weekend and the week yeah Oh my goodness, we've got all these major arcana cards. This is amazing. For the, So this coming week is quite an important week for you. Keep your faith strong. Keep doing things your way. Don't have to do things in, in an outdated mode or do things the way people have expected to, to have things done in the past. You're weighing up your options. This is receiving blessings from above and they're saying keep doing things your way. The moon card is clarifying it. This is a card of... Um, going with your emotions, breaking through any illusions that you've got or disillusions or about things. Your emotions might be quite up and down, but you could be having quite nice dreams which give you the answers to your future. But I see the moon card too as a great time of creativity, coming up with new ideas, new plans. You might be artistic, so you're painting better, um, writing a book or something like that, acting, anything like that, you'll be in your element. For some of you, it's a fear of the future. So try and break through that illusion of fearing the future because fear is a terrible thing that can hold you back. And fear is only a false emotion appearing real. It's when you are imagining something that may happen that is, well, definitely won't happen. Okay, so that's for the rest of that week or the ending of that week that's really great what a fabulous week such strong emotions and um, karmic situation for you okay let's read the guiding messages now now i've got one here uh, guiding message for somebody this is from louise hay there is a solution to every problem we create habits and problems to fulfill a need when I can find a positive way to fulfill the need, I can release the problem. Okay, so I hope that resonates with somebody. 
So we've got Virgo, Virgo's card is honesty and communication. Right, so here is your beautiful, beautiful card from Kyle Gray and your channeled message is you're being given an opportunity to speak your truth. You've reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you're hiding anything, um, in or feel you need to share something in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act on this now. When you share your things and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you are in a challenging position and find it difficult communicating what is in your heart, call in angels and ask them to support you. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are. Okay, so that's for Virgo and your angel whisper message is, be open to receiving, you do deserve to receive. Okay, right, uh, now we've got Capricorn, harmony and honesty, whoops. Harmony and honesty. Oh, harmony and resolution, sorry. Capricorn, this is your beautiful channeled message. Angels of harmony and healing are with you to help you resolve any conflicts that have been disturbing your inner peace. You are being encouraged to call in the light of God and surrender any concerns you have so that the divine can resolve them. Your angel guide is suggesting you release any need to be right or to get your point across. For this will only create more hostility. This is a time to focus on your own inner peace. Dedicate time and energy to doing what you can to make yourself feel com comforted and comfortable. Through being more caring towards yourself, you will create harmonious energy that will wash out like a wave to all of those around you. Trust that this will happen and harmony will be restored. Okay, Capricorn, and your lovely angel whisper is... Your animals and spirit are safe and well and sharing you with their love. I know who that's for. Lovely little dog that passed over recently, Diva. Okay, Taurus, what have you got? Oh, you've got no. Oh, spirit's coming in to confirm about little Diva. Thank you. Okay, Taurus. Sorry, no. Your angels are drawing close at this time to help you recognise that the answer to the question on your mind is no. This is not the time to proceed. You may want to, but you're being encouraged to see beyond the current situation and understand that following through on your ideas may have a negative effect on the whole course of your life. Angels are swooping in because they want to save the day and save you a lot of heartache from a choice that is not heart-centred. If you're feeling upset or annoyed by this guidance, this is okay. You are allowed to have an emotional response, but in truth, there will be part of you that already knows that what you are considering isn't the best use of your energy. All right, Taurus, and your guiding message is, the beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek. Reconnect today. Right, time for a walk in the park for you guys, or a sit at the beach, or something something nice to reconnect to nature. Okay, we'll just have some lovely guiding messages to finish off, inspired by Frida. Can we have a lovely guiding message for everyone? Thank you. Lovely guiding messages. Lovely guiding messages. Thank you. Don't play wishy-washy. Paint the world with your clarity and create with clear ideas about love. And do you feel free? And what does it mean to you? Say, I am free. I am free. I am free. And one lucky last one. You dwell in your mind day and night. Shape it. So this is really if you dwell in your mind day and night. Shape it with purity, love and gratitude. Okay, people, I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you so much for being here. Please push like and subscribe if it resonates with you and notification for more free readings. If it doesn't, watch someone else, that's fine. 
and see you again. Blessings. Bye.